What is up, peeps? Hope we're all doing well on this fine dandy day. Dr. Disrespect's team at Midnight Society, I should say former team, as he has now parted ways amicably after their statements made around his allegations and own admission to now months ago as he parted ways with Midnight Society, now no longer tied directly to the game that was going to be set in stone as his game for the gaming sphere known as Dead Drop. It is actually a recent interview by Decrypt, a great YouTube channel. We'll link the full interview down below with Quinn Del Hoya, actually a co-founder over at Midnight Society and of course for this game Dead Drop where he addresses those allegations uh, of the doc and having to part ways with him as he also says amicably and the future of what this game will look like. Sure. It's been a turbulent month or so. Um, I think that's fair to say for Midnight Society and Dead Drop. One of your co-founders, Dr. Disrespect, was alleged to have inappropriate conversations with a minor. You guys then put out your own investigation into that and decided to terminate your relationship with him. Um, sort of, I'm interested in what that process looked like. What was that investigation and how were you able to unwind sort of his responsibilities and power? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's good, Ryan. I appreciate that. Um, the way that we... So what happened was, you know, we got uh, the wind wind of the things that were kind of happening. We're like, okay, well, the four of us, we got to get on a call and we got to talk about this. And that's what we did. So the four of us had many, many calls over that, the course of that entire weekend and went over everything, I had the, the, you know, the allegations and all that kind of stuff. And through the discussion of that, that phone call, phone calls, I should say, um, yeah, we came to the conclusion that that through uh, Guy's admission that, you know, didn't align with the principles that we set out at Midnight Society when we created this studio and what we wanted to do. And because of that, even though, you know, it's kind of a tough decision in the end, it's also the right decision because um, it just didn't align principally what we have set up as a studio, what we are all about. And if you guys don't remember back around those time where these allegations surfaced from a former Twitch employee, they were then shortly after admitted to by Doc himself. In a recent video, he broke down how he has now deleted those admission tweets. A return is expected sometime soon from Doc, where maybe he will explain this some way. Maybe he'll talk about the game. Maybe he'll talk about said allegations and explain it even further than he has online, which has not been much outside that now uh, deleted admission in that very, very long tweet in doing so. But it was also Dead Drop who parted ways with him earlier than when he even admitted it himself. It was actually a day or so before that where they had already parted ways. And apparently, according to Quinn, that was due to their own self-investigation where Doc was also involved on those calls and maybe even admitted it to them before he had posted that admission online, which would also make sense. At first, Midnight Society actually received a fair amount of backlash for dropping the doc before he had then admitted to those allegations of inappropriate discussions with the minor. Yeah, definitely. I, I can totally empathize that that's must have been a hard decision for you guys to make. Um, did you say that you spoke to Guy in, in that process and he sort of, he, he didn't admit to the full allegations online, but he sort of uh, admitted to having some conversations that leaned on the side of inappropriate was that sort of the line where you guys were like okay we need to wash our hands of this or were there other things that we don't know about uh yeah so first yes he was on the call he was on all the calls with us and i mean the main thing as we went through all this um that he he talked to us about what was going on and we just, just to be clear, Ryan, I'm not going to totally get into all the details of that because we want to respect a uh, guy as well in this, but yeah, we all four of us, we amicably, amicably decided, Hey, you know, this is the best, what's best for midnight society. And we wish guy nothing but the best in his future endeavors. And that way we can go and go after our vertical extraction shooter and dead drop and the things that we're trying to set up to do. And then he can go do the things that he needs to do to take care of himself and all that. And so that's where, after all that came together, we're like, all right, 
we decided all of us together amicably this is the best course of action. And so that is really all Quinn had to say about the Doc situation, the rest of which he said he was going to leave, uh, you know, respect Doc and, and hopefully that he gets the help that he needs. And he, like you said before, an amicable split that just was not going to work out with the overall mission of the studio. He goes on to describe, though, what the future of this game might look like, announcing some updates here and there. They've been relatively quiet on social media, but does also say they have a very diehard audience that if you guys remember back to the the tales of time of dead drop what was supposed to make them special is they highly listened to community feedback you know everyone who dropped in day one was going to have a voice in this project which he does maintain i think some key words to pull from this is he also does say hey we don't know how big of an audience we're going to have but we do know the audience we do have is going to be highly engaged when this game eventually drops we've been putting new builds weekly to our founders audience, the people that have bought into our experience. So every weekend we've been putting out a new build with changes and we've been heavily engaged with them on Discord, which has been uh, just a big relief and it's super exciting to be doing that again because we've got some incredible, um, I guess, fans, I'll say. Like I, I try to hold that word, pretty, that word pretty sacred, but like fans that are really interested in Dead Drop and they're super engaged with us. And so every week we put out something new for them and we have a good uh, discourse back and forth with them on Discord and it's been, it's been amazing. And that is also met with a lot of people questioning ever since Doc's parting ways with the company, you know, no matter what you think uh, about the instance, this was a terrible blow for Midnight Society and the game Dead Drop, right? When you lose your biggest marketing arm, your biggest pull to the game, it could not have been an easy choice to make to have to part ways with him. I think it was likely the right decision, but it sucks because if you do enjoy the game, you know it's probably going to impact their future, which they got to deal with. And I think that's what you can draw from those words of, we don't know how big the audience we're going to have is going to end up being, but luckily they do have a diehard niche fan base that enjoys the whole vertical extraction shooter and what they're building. So we'll see what that comes with. And Quinn really stresses this by saying, we got a lot of work to do and we got to make sure when we do launch, which is set for the fall of 2025, they got to they got to make their mark. Like a lot of other games out there nowadays, if you don't make your mark on launch, you're pretty much dead on release. Had a really good conversation with them this past week because there's some features that we kind of we kind of cut, you know, as we are in this dark period. Uh, and that was specifically was ledge hang, right? Where we let players like hang from a ledge, which you don't really see too much in games these days. And they really love that. And so we're like, okay, well, let's figure out how do we get that back in there? And we had a really good, healthy conversation with them. We found out who was passionate about it. And one thing that I can guarantee, Ryan, is I can't necessarily guarantee the size of the audience of the game that we're, we're going to have, but I can guarantee the game that we do make is the audience we have is going to love it because we are listening to them and we're working with them. I mean, this is not hundred percent true, but I think most of the time you only really get to launch your game one time. And uh, you can't unlaunch an experience. And first impressions, even though I know we've been talking about open development and there's lots of people that have already have a first expression of our impression of our game. But when we are talking about going on Xbox and PlayStation, as we are as approved developers for those platforms, we're also looking at Steam. We're trying to get on Steam. And when you are on there, you need to make sure that you have your experience buttoned up so that people like it. And then word of mouth spreads because we're trying to go even more broad than this incredible loving uh, community that we have now. And we think they're going to get our back. They're going to help us out. But the things that we have to get right is, again, it's a first person shooter experience. Shooting's got to feel tight. Movement's got to feel exquisite. Uh, the verticality of our levels have to not only be there and shine, but the um, orientation and how you find your way through these environments. And so that is Doc's former studio addressing the allegations and his emissions and of course him parting ways with the studio and what their future may or may not be. I know a lot of Doc fans out there, either they stuck with the game or they didn't. I don't know where that split does fall, but I'm, I'm very curious to see where the future of this game does go and uh, what they'll do on release and how they'll move mo moving forward as well. They've been kind of quiet on socials ever since the instance, so we'll see how this game does. Do you guys think this game has a chance without Doc uh, being around anymore? We await and see. So till next time, hope you guys all enjoy. Drink your water and coffee, and we'll see you back here tomorrow as per usual. Okay, take care, folks.